matter how long you have the vehicle. Mm. But eight years. Oh. Right. I've got my foot on the brake. And then put it into drive. Oh, right. Yeah. right. And then away we go. And you put your foot on the accelerator and off we go. It's the park brakes on. Yeah, the park brakes on. Sorry. There you go. So we need to keep that green ball in the middle to keep it at maximum efficiency yes. or economy. Yes. Now this is an electric vehicle, an e -room. extended range electric vehicle. So potential range of about 350 miles. 360, probably 360. 360 yeah. Right. Up to 50 on the battery power alone, and then once you get past the 50 mile mark, if you want to continue driving without charging, there's a uh, engine generator on board which extends the range to 360. Okay. So let's pass the, uh, the city circuit. Is there any noticeable change when it changes over? Uh, you do, there is, there is a change but um, in test drives that I've done with, with other journalists when the transition has happened quite a few of them haven't even noticed. The driving characteristics of the car remain the same. It still drives like an electric vehicle because the wheels are always turned electrically. So you still have your instant torque and um, your power. So the batteries are mounted in a T shape. Yep. Beneath the car. Yeah, it, it forms so it runs down the centre console. You can see it on the screen actually, down the centre console and under the rear seats. Right. This advantage of that is that you can only have four people sat in the car and also it does limit the boot space. At the moment it does, uh, that is how it's been designed. There is actually a rather useful boot in this one. It's actually bigger than, than you would expect from an electric vehicle because of the way that it's mounted under the seats rather than in, in the trunk area. Right. And the battery is guaranteed for? Uh, eight years. Um, but obviously that's not to say that it, it will be useless after eight years, it's just that's where our testing is, is at the moment. And the car that we're driving is a it's, prototype? It's a prototype vehicle. Um, it's one of our later prototypes, so it is closer to production, but obviously it, it's not a production ready vehicle as yet. There'll be some improvements between now and launch. And it goes on sale in the UK early in 2012. The suspension seems to be set up for, for comfort, you know, it's very uh, subtle. Yeah, I mean, um, we, we've designed it so that it can be used every day without any range anxiety and also offers all the comfort that you would expect from a, a family vehicle. Mm. And the cost will be £25,995? Uh, no, £28,995, um, but that includes a £5,000 um, subsidy from the government for uh, buying an electric vehicle. Um, it has been confirmed that we are included in that scheme. So the batteries aren't located beneath the car, unlike the Mitsubishi IBF, so it doesn't impede any ground clearance to turn in. This feels accurate. It's like in a normal car, so it's quite undramatic really. 